Ableton's simpler device is a great place to start if you're looking to get into chopping breaks and you don't want to spend hours of your time slicing up a waveform on the timeline. I've got the Amen break here and I'm just going to drag it onto an empty MIDI clip. It'll automatically load a simpler. I'm going to set it to slice mode. I'm going to put gate on. I'm going to set the sensitivity to about 50%. Playback to through. I'm going to turn warp on. We're going repitch mode. And we're just going to work the last two bars. That's a good place to start with the Amen if you're new to it. Drag in and I'm going to pull up that playhead right to the transient. If you're not sure which bits to chop, generally the kicks and snares are a good place to start. You can see with the sensitivity at about 50% that it's already got them pretty on the money. I'm just going to zoom in and make sure they're lined up. Once you've got those lined up, we're just going to double click to load up a fresh MIDI clip. Simpler plays back from MIDI note C1. If I draw in a note now, you're going to hear the first bit of the break. And now we're just going to draw some patterns and get something fun going. Once you have a pattern you like, I like to select all, just take the grid quite small and just shorten all the MIDI notes down a bit so that you get a cool staccato effect. And you can have lots of fun programming lots more patterns and trying out different places to put your start points. You can take it a bit further by grouping this. I'm going to go into the chains. I'm going to duplicate this a few times. In the second one, I'm going to change it to beats mode. This third one, we'll make it twice as long in repitch mode. Fourth one, go to texture, make it times two. <laughs> And this fourth one, going to beats again and make it times two. You can have lots of fun experimenting with these. I'm going to pull out this first chain, about 88. I'm going to pull up the rest of them. Here, drag them out, right click, distribute ranges equally. And then we're going to map the chain selector to macro one. And I'm going to use an expression control, the random mode, map it to our chain selector. And now when the breakbeat pattern plays back every note it hits, it's going to randomly select a different chain. <laughs> Is some I did before. So it's a really simple device, but really powerful in slice mode for getting started with breakbeats.